So I found it. But this look, look at it. It looks so strange. It looks really weird. I don't know if I could drink that. I don't know. Hey, so I did end up buying this herb tea. I know it looks really, really um, weird, especially something I had to put in a plastic bag like this. Um, I saved, I saved the receipt just in case, like, heaven forbid, I get stopped by a cop. And first glance at that, you know what they think. So. Um, when I was going to that store, I seen this person on the side of the road with this sign, a homeless sign, and you can just tell the, obviously one of those type of signs. I'm like, okay, if that, that person's still there after I would, you know, I had some change left over from my laundry, my laundry day, and, uh, I'll get them, get that person, get them something. And, uh. So I went to McDonald's and I ordered a McDouble. And I ordered it how I normally get it, like with ketchup. Only ketchup and heavy, heavy pickle. Just in case if that person wasn't there. And I got like a cup of water. I was gonna get more, but that's all I had. And I figure any little bit counts. It's with the thought that counts. So then they were, so I had to pull over. I couldn't pull over because they were on the opposite side. And I didn't really didn't want to pull and wait and go on the side of the road when other cars were coming, so I had to walk across the road. And I was like, "Oh my gosh, please, God, like keep me safe," because you know you never know with those type of people, anybody really, not those people, but anybody. Um, so I was nervous, like walking, because I had to walk across the street and hand it to him, and then walk back across the street in time before before the lights changed and I made it and he was really grateful that and he said well thank you so much and so it was nice doing something nice today so I did my one deed today I guess you could say um I did do that before once um I was working at my other job before I quit I was a manager and these two couples were there all day like since I was at work until and they were still there when I left so since I was a manager I was able to I was able to make a bunch of made like whoppers and I got fries and pies and then I think I also brought like shakes and water and I was able to do my good to, to give it to them and they they had a little jog so I brought like a little hamburger patty and um so it was really nice they were like really grateful of that too so I'm going home now and I'm gonna go put the laundry away. I'm gonna take a nap because I have, I'm getting a, a head cold and I just um, pretty much feel awful today. Like my kids, my two, my two boys mainly, they're always my issue. They woke up today again at like 5.30 and it was just like, oh, I'll go back to bed. But they didn't, so I was up since then. I think normally I'm fine, but since I have this cold, uh, it's just draining. I was going to stay home today and just sleep and just rest, but I needed to get this laundry done. I really wanted to do the laundry just to get it done and, you know. And yesterday I pretty much did that. I just went home right away after dropping off the kids from school and I fell asleep and slept most of the day. And... When you don't do anything during the day, you just don't feel like you accomplished anything. I mean, I vacuumed and I moved couches around, vacuumed underneath that. So I did do stuff yesterday, but not enough, um, you know, besides sleep and vacuum and do that stuff. But today I did laundry and then I'm going to go home. I'm going to go try that tea and hopefully it works. It's um, red raspberry leaf. It's supposed to help with pregnancy, like, and supposed to help, um, what you say, how do you say it, like, I guess, prepare your uterus and stuff for pregnancy, and especially for people who have had recurrent miscarriages, 
they say it's good so I want to try it so hopefully it's good I was gonna go get that stork um, not toy but the stork applicator I think it's called um, but it, it's like $70 so I really don't want to spend $70 on a one-time thing that only you can do it once so I think I'm going to go to Cousins and get myself a sub. And then tonight we have to take my son up to the dental clinic to look at, um, to talk to the orthodontist. And he will check his mouth and stuff. And so that's tonight. So luckily my husband is going to come with me to this appointment since it's later at night. And all the kids will be done with school. And um, I'm go home and Take it easy and wish for luck. Wish for the best. <laughs> oh! Give me bigger. Oh, mommy, mommy, calm down. Woo! Woo! Wow! You need to zip your coat up. Should I push it for you? Beauty and the Beast too much. So we just got done and my son was always wanting to get this first spot and somehow today we got it and he was so so excited about getting it. It was really neat. It was pretty cool that we got it so he just all done with your appointment. You're trying to lock me out. Daddy! Oh, yeah. We're all done. And we're going home. No! He's getting so mad because he can't operate a seatbelt. Stop belt. kicking the... Sit Mommy, down, please. I want to go to Chili's. 